Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We're out here with Cosmo, the 2000 Jeep Cherokee. Um, Steve-O, the little big dummy, hasn't been using it in the last couple weeks when we blew a brake line, so I was able to get the brake line fixed and do some other tinkering that needed to be done before he takes it back, and I think tomorrow he's going to start using this again. So, <clears throat> while I had the front bumper off and sanded it down and refinished it and sprayed it before we get that back on, I was going to put these lights on that I had bought many months ago and just never got around to putting them in. And what they are are smoke lens lights to take the place of the um, the amber lenses that are on the truck. And it, it kind of gives it a neat look. We already did them on the sides, but it gives it a neat look, especially that the truck is, is that color gray. Gray ones and black ones, these seem to look really nice. And even the red ones, red trucks. Um, these look pretty cool on. So we're going to get these installed and we're going to use some switchback LED lights in the front so that they will um, actually, when the just the marker lights are on, they're going to be white, light coming through these smoke lenses. And then when he uses the directional, they'll switch to an amber, which should look pretty cool. We'll check it out and see how they look. So it's a Phillips head screw in there, but the, the channel to get to the screw is fairly narrow, so you're going to need a narrow shanked screwdriver or bit driver to get in there. Screws. So you got two screws in the top, one on either end, and then this should just tilt forward and come out, and I'll show you about that. So you're going to have a screw up here and a screw up here and then they should tilt forward and come out because they have these little hook there but you'll see on this side the hook is broken off and that is going to happen on a lot of them you'll see that there's a uh, a broken clip on the bottom and people usually just lay them in and they are wobble a little bit matter of fact on this side no, that side looks pretty good i thought we had a broken one somewhere <clears throat> so after getting the bezel out we've got two phillips head screws holding the lens in. You can see this Phillips head screw is actually supposed to sandwich the edge of the grill in, but it's pushing the grill out because somebody probably put it in in the wrong order. There we go. We'll see when we put it back together what, would, uh, what we need to do with that. So it's sort of like tucked behind the grill there. Oh, and this one's supposed to turn too, and this one pulled out. I guess that wasn't in there all the way. They are quarter turn regular kind of lights. All right, so now our first step is going to be to take these bulbs out. These should be just regular 3157s or similar, and they are 3157 bulbs. Oh, these should be them. They don't actually say switch back on them. We're using. JDM A Star. I believe these were the switchbacks. That's the one thing about this company, JDM A Star. I like the bulbs. Um, they seem to last. They're nice and bright. They are a decent quality when you get the right part number. The problem is they don't label the packages really well. So I'm going to put one in and I'm going to turn the, the marker lights on and see what happens. So it's shining white, which is what we want with just the marker lights on. Let's get this one in. And that's shining white. And now when I turn the directional on, it should go to amber. Alright, so with the directional on, they did turn to amber, but I'm getting a hyper flash. Now, the, the flasher, and I know everybody's saying, oh, you need an electronic flasher. Well, the flasher has already been changed to an LED flasher because we have LEDs in the taillights, 
and everything's been working fine. So I'm just wondering if we need to go to that side and change that side to balance this out because I believe, and you know, my memory's starting to go a little bit, but when we were doing the taillights and we tested one side or the other, we did get a hyper flash. And when we did both sides, the electrical system was able to balance it itself. So we're gonna throw some bulbs in on that side and then we'll see if that makes a difference or not. All right, so as the testing has showed, we're getting hyperflash now, and we weren't before with just the with just the LED lights in the rear and not having LEDs in the front and the rear, and now we're getting uh, hyperflash. And we did change the flasher, so I'm thinking that we're gonna have to try to research a different or better flasher for this to work completely. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. We're gonna put the lenses in, see how they look, and um, and then take up the flasher issue separately. I think we can find a, a maybe a better flasher, a true no-load flasher, which should slow these down. They're working as function. They're not super, super fast hyper flash, but it is flashing faster than it's supposed to be. And, um, and we'll chase that down. I'm sure this is a problem probably everybody has when they, they switch to something like this. We'll see. So let's get those lenses in and see how they look. I think the gray lens gives it a nice clean look and I think the switchback feature will, will look great once we can get rid of a hyper flash issue um, but for now I'll give you a shot of what it looks like at night Well, what do you think? You like them? You don't like them? I guess it's personal preference. I don't know. May I let them grow on me a little bit? Like, you no, know, we, we do have two of these identical Jeeps. So we'll leave one with, one without, and see which ones we really like better. If you know how I can get rid of the hyperflash issue without using inline resistors, I'm not looking to use resistors. I want to do it with a flasher. I want to do it with a true no load flasher. Now, in a previous video, and I'll try to find it and I'll try to link it right here. We did change this flasher when we put LED lights in the rear and got rid of all the LED issues. But now we went to front and there's just too little bit of a load on the line on the circuit and we're getting some hyper flash. So we're going to try to figure that out. If you know how to figure that out without using resistors, down below, you know what to do. Let me know, yell at me, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.